September 8th, the birthday of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The birth of the Blessed Virgin Mary announced joy in the near approach of salvation to the lost world, and so this festival is celebrated by the church with praise and thanksgiving. It was a mystery of holiness distinguished by unique privileges. Mary was brought into the world unlike other children of Adam not deprived of sanctifying grace and prone to sin but pure holy beautiful and glorious adorned with all the most precious graces becoming her who was chosen to be the mother of god man was no sooner fallen in paradise through the woman led away by satan than god promised another woman whose seed should crush the serpent's head at the birth of the virgin mary the accomplishment of that promise was begun in the order of nature our lady was conceived without original sin giving her a singular and peerless value she was a lily of incomparable purity and beauty that appeared in the night of this land of exile she also had all the natural psychological gifts that a woman can have god gave her the richest personality imaginable to this he added gifts of the supernatural order the treasures of graces that were hers she received the most precious graces god ever gave to any human creature given that she was without original sin she had the entire use of reason from the moment she was conceived therefore already in the maternal womb our lady had very elevated thoughts the womb of st anne was for her a kind of temple there she was already interceding for the human race and had begun to pray with the highest wisdom that was a gift from god for the coming of the messiah in reality she was influencing the destiny of mankind as a source of graces scripture tells us that the tunic that our lord wore was a source of grace that those who touched it could be cured this being the case can you imagine how our lady the mother of our saviour was a source of graces for whosoever would approach her even before she was born for this reason we can say that at her nativity immense graces began to shine for mankind and the devil started to be smashed he perceived that his sceptre had been cracked and would never be the same again for these reasons and many others the feast of the nativity of our lady should be most dear to us and since we are sons of our lady not by our own merit but by her choice we can ask of her a special grace many mystics who had visions of our lady said that on her feast days she visits purgatory to release a great number of souls whom she takes back with her to heaven what happens with the church suffering gives us an idea of what takes place with the church militant on these feast days her grace envelops us and gains innumerable favors for us